All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm back, and I'm still looking for a job, uh, mechanical engineering related or like manufacturing engineering related. And so, if you think I would be a good fit, go ahead and email me or write something in the description. But uh, today, this video is going to be about um, the the amount of milliamp hours in uh, these various batteries, like. Um, I haven't, I, I didn't look at the receipt, but I know I got this pack of eight dollars of eight batteries from uh, Dollar Tree for a dollar. So that means that you know each one of these things is what like 12 and a half cents. And uh, the Duracells, how much were they? The Duracells I got from Publix, and they cost uh, where is it? Four ninety nine, so they are more than a dollar. They're a dollar and a quarter a piece compared to twelve twelve and a half cents a piece. So, um, like what typically people do is they they put them in a flashlight or something and they record the amount of time. But uh, I wanted something a little bit more accurate, so I got my Arduino here and I'm using the stepper motor as a controlled resistance. I already did like a a test on it. And I ran uh, one and a half volts through it for, I'd say it was like 10 minutes, and the resistance didn't change. It stayed at 6.1 ohms. So um, I'm figuring, you know, if you know the resistance um, and you know the voltage of the cell, you can determine how much current is flowing through the system. I was going to try and use uh, this thing that I dug out of my closet. It's a current sensor for an Arduino. But, uh or for whatever you want to use it for it's five volts but it uh it didn't sense a uh, current amount small enough for what i'm trying to do here so um basically with the code i got here it's just a, a simple code it writes a uh, the voltage value to the serial monitor every second and stops once it gets to 0.8 volts um generally when an alkaline battery gets to about one volt, it's considered dead. Um, even though there's like still more energy in the battery, you could technically drain it all the way to zero volts. But most uh, devices, you know, won't be useful anymore at that point. So I will go ahead and my goal here is to give you all more information about these batteries than you could ever really care or want to know. Um, I do realize that I am missing Rayovax and probably a bunch of other ones, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and start this anyway because I'm about to go to bed and uh, at a drain rate of like a, what, a quarter of an amp, it should take a fair amount of time to, to get this data, especially for all of them. Green and maybe they're trying to make you think that they're the lithium batteries because they put the blue on there. Pretty slick of them, but really all it is is uh, they have like 4% of recycled battery in there or something. Uh, so they made it green, I guess, said Eco Advanced marketing technique. I'm interested to see if they're any different than the normal Energizer and uh, if you're paying for more. You got your Energizer, and then these came with a mop <laughs> that I disassembled and I never used them. Uh, like one of those Swiffer things, so I'm interested to see uh, how craptacular they are. Um, and so I 3D printed this uh, the single cell holder, and I will put a Duracell in there before I go to bed, and I'll start this thing, and uh, we should get some data flowing. So uh, thanks, and I'll let you know what the data looks like. Hey, I'm back. All right. Um, so I'm in the process of running the test right now. It takes a very long time um, Once again, I'm running these batteries uh, Like a constant drain rate of well, it's not a constant drain rate, but uh, with a fixed through a fixed resistance of 6.1 ohms um, Unchanging and I just let it run and record the voltage with the Arduino on here but uh, I was reading this, the back of this thing, because I'm like, you know, I'm starting to get into this. Because, like, uh, 
I don't know, they put so much advertisement in here. But they say, uh, you know, we believe that you can have a battery that lasts as long as the competition and a fair price. Ridiculously test our Rayovac high energy batteries to ensure it lasts as long as Energizer Max and Duracell Copper Top. All right, so what I am wondering is if they are talking about this 10 year power guarantee crap. Like, first of all, I don't know that anybody, I mean, what, what, liability what legality is holding them to this 10-year power guarantee all right i think that's a bunch of bs because i've had batteries leak acid within the printed date on here and i don't even know if they've like changed anything since they started manufacturing batteries it has allowed them to have a longer shelf life you know i suppose they could technology gets better and everything but what legal recompense <laughs> is available for the consumers of these batteries if they start to leak within this 10 years. So this is really just like, to me, a complete BS number. Like if you're not gonna use a device for a long amount of time, just take the batteries out of it. Cause I know like in the heat, they're probably more likely to, to corrode and, and I've had it happen many times. So this means absolutely nothing to me. All right, but, but the Energizer, they claim to have the same 10 year guarantee and so does the Duracell. So I'm wondering if, you know, regardless of what they say about no gimmicks and whatever on the back of here, if this crap about lasting as long is just about, you know, the, the, the number of years that they came up that this battery should be able to sit and not leak acid, which is, you know, not un foreseeable like for it to, to go bad within that time frame and like do you have to have the receipt because like who's going to have the receipt after 10 years you know nine years into your batteries being in your flashlight and they leak acid you know i mean are you gonna sue rayovac for a ten dollar flashlight nine years after you bought the batteries i don't think so so that i mean this stuff kind of aggravates me I mean, it could be true too, but I don't know. I'm skeptical, very skeptical. And another thing that I've noticed is like you can see the vacuum packaging. You can see how they got like the little indents for the batteries right here. And then they got this little, this little up, up thing where you can put like a advertisement. So they, the Rayovac stuck this sticker in here. Energizer, they got the same type of packaging and they stick this last 30% longer thing compared to what. Um, then the Duracell package is different. It's just flat. There's no little indents for the batteries. But the Publix package is the same as the Rayovac package and the Energizer package. And the fact that they have this little uh, poof <laughs> right there. But they don't have anything in the front. And so is the same with this uh this other Publix battery package now uh i don't know this one's kind of different because it's only got six batteries in there but they got a little thing in front i guess that's the new advertisement thing now the dollar tree batteries they all they have little space vacuum sealed in there so they don't even have a little space for a little little advertisement thing and uh i don't know the panasonics you get an odd number of batteries i don't know there's, there's just so much there's so much unknown here you know it's like you got all these different batteries but they all fit in the same device and who knows you know a year from now the results from this test could be completely different um but yeah, I don't know. This this is going to be interesting. I'm getting excited about it. All right, cool. I'll let you know. Oh, yeah. Hey, so I'm still looking for a job, but uh, I figured I'd post this part of the video um, just because I'm getting kind of antsy, and uh, it's taken a while, and I wanted to like start editing some of this video. But I'll show you my initial, you know, what I'm finding... Um, I've only done one test run for each of these batteries, and like I said, I'm not sure how quality control is with the Dollar Tree ones, but if you look, you can see that really the, the 
the amount of energy in each battery is, is almost only uh concerned with its chemistry and like what it's made of because these right here these are the carbon zinc batteries and these are all the alkaline batteries and like i mean the public's high drain is the one that you know has the most energy but you know the duracell and the panasonic and the you know or oh yeah the the nafang gung whatever those are the ones that came with the mop and they actually were pretty good like i, I was super amazed at this um I cannot believe that like these these Dollar Tree alkaline batteries are almost just as good as the Duracells. And I know I probably got you know I probably paid too much. I bought the other ones at Publix, uh, except for the Rayovac. I got them at Walmart. But you can see the, the the Sunbeam High Drain right now is taking the cake on watt hours per dollar, and it also has you know. A fairly comparable watt hour per cell uh, compared to the Duracell and I'll finish uh, getting all this and then I'll upload it as like a screenshot or something but you can see here you know the Publix Hydrain has the highest and the second highest is Duracell and then you got the Nafang Gang 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 one and uh, then the Sunbeam Hydrain and then you have these two the the carbon zinc batteries um, and they're also a lot lighter. Like, I was going to weigh them just so, you know, I could upload it and see so you guys, you know, if you wanted to figure out if a cell was carbon zinc or alkaline. I figured it's probably easiest to tell by the weight. Um, but, yeah, so I, I decided to only drain them down to one volt. That's when I stopped the data um, just because it seemed easier, seemed good. Because usually I replace my batteries whenever I notice something going dim. You don't. I don't generally wait till it's completely dead. But uh yeah, so if you like what I'm doing, if you find this interesting, if you want to help me out in any way, you know, uh just let me know. Um cuz I am looking for a job and uh I love engineering. So uh thanks for watching and I hope I hope this uh hope this helps y'all out. Bye.